a Brit model has told how she lured girls to orgies at Hugh Hefner's Playboy Mansion by plying them with drugs and promises of fame. Zoe Paul was the millionaire's girlfriend and his scout at clubs and says he had an insatiable appetite for sex even at 74. She says Hefner would pass around joints, take quaaludes and Viagra before bedding up to 17 girls a night without protection. Zoe fears some girls she picked up were underage, adding, It did bother me that one of the girls might complain they'd been drugged and raped. Londoner Zoe was 22 when she first met him after a Playboy shoot in 1998. He paid £35,000 in lawyer's fees for her green card visa, and in 2000 she moved to his LA mansion. Zoe revealed, there was a lot of competition between his seven girlfriends. We all wanted to make sure we were the one he'd spoil the most. My way of impressing him was scouting for girls when we went clubbing in Hollywood on Wednesdays and Fridays. I looked for hot chicks I knew he'd like and brought them to his table. It wasn't hard to get them to fall into the trap. I'd say they looked like a model and should be in Playboy magazine. Then I'd bring them over and introduce them as my girlfriend so the other girls wouldn't get rid of them. At some point I'd ask the new girl to come with me to the toilet. AFP or licensors I'd pretend to pop a pill and encourage them to take one too, saying it would make them feel confident and sexy. Then I'd invite them to the mansion saying, this is how we all started, you are going to be a huge star. The youngest girls were easy to manipulate. They were desperate to be in the magazine. I wasn't checking IDs but it was obvious that some were not 21 and old enough to be in the club. I'd guess the youngest was about 19. AFP or licensors before we got in the limo I'd tell them what was about to go down. I would say, listen. Once we get back it's going to get wild and you will have to have sex with Hef and do things to get his attention, or he will lose interest in you apostrophe. X page 3 girl Zoe added, when I brought new girls back we'd see a big change in Hef. He'd become like the playboy he was in his younger years. He'd be gentlemanly and gracious and offer the girls a drink. But if they refused sex or were resistant, he'd get angry and take it out on us. Hefner's main girlfriend at the time was U.S. model Holly Madison, now 37. She has previously revealed Hefner encouraged her to take the illegal hypnotic sedative Kalu. Zoe said, Hef always carried about 10 quaaludes and handed them out to his girlfriends. I kept spares so I could give them to the women I met. I'd stop taking them as they made me feel sick. But I'd tell the girls, we all take them you should too. A Kalud will make you feel like you've had 10 drinks. You lose all your inhibitions so it was the perfect drug to get the girls in the mood. AFP or licensors at the mansion we'd follow the same routine. We'd change into lingerie then go into the bedroom and hand out vibrators. There were mirrors on the ceiling and if new girls were there I would get them champagne. By the time Hef entered in his dressing gown we would be stimulating sex and playing with sex toys. Hef would normally pass around a joint we'd all smoke. He also took quaaludes and Viagra. I don't know how many. Then we would take turns having sex. When it was my go on top I'd count two minutes in my head as that's how long it would take before he moved to the next girl. I always encouraged the girls to be adventurous with Hef as the more they did the less I'd have to do. They do my dirty work for me. Mom Zoe, now 42, left the mansion in 2004 and moved to Florida. Hefner broke up with Holly and married Brit model Crystal Harris, 31. Zoe added, Holly hated me. It was because of her that I felt under pressure to recruit for Hef, my green card was on the line. Seven things you didn't know about Playboy founder Hugh Hefner I was worried about getting STDs. Hef refused to even talk about protection but there were nights when he could sleep with as many as 17 girls. After the orgies we'd always go to the doctors to get tested. I don't think anyone caught anything. Meeting Hef was like winning the lottery. I came to love him and was devastated when he died. I last spoke to him two years ago when I called him to say hello, he could not remember who I was. I don't know if it was old age or because he'd slept with so many girls. For me he was a legend but it is very sad what happened to him. Crystal Hefner gives you an inside look at the Playboy Mansion.